There's no way this looks like something I get from a buffet. Like zero, never seen it before. I'm just a little nervous today, I really am. I'm, I'm a little speechless. I got goosebumps going on. Hey guys, it's Mike Chan here in Vietnam. As you know, every country I go to, I always try to seek out some of the best local all you can eat buffets. And this one, this one here at the Hotel Nico Saigon, I think this one's gonna be pretty fancy. Hello, is, is this a buffet? Okay, you're not open yet, right? 6 p.m.? I'm gonna be the first in line here. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here in anticipation. Guys, I've been to a lot of buffets in my day. You know I have. And those are my favorite. And just, I'm, I'm a little speechless because I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed. I gotta just show you because I took a quick walk around this buffet. I'm getting chills. You can't see right now, but I got goosebumps going on. My friend Viet here. Hey Viet, how you doing? So this is all seafood here. Appetizer. Appetizer. Yeah, the oyster. The fresh oyster from France. Fresh oyster from France. Yes. Yeah, kind of base. It's finger food. Finger food. That is appetizing. You have the green mushroom from New Zealand. You whip tartar sauce. So much variety. It's not just simply like get, get, a, get some salad and throw it into a plate. Smoked salmon from Scotland. This is like a combination of just different foods from around, from around the world. What, what is that? Steam cake. And she's rolling it into yeah, like a fresh it, yeah. spring roll here. Salad bar, cheese kind of. We're gonna, we're gonna bypass the salads a little bit because there, there are more exciting stuff ahead of us. I promise you guys. That this is crazy. Today guys. they have Peking duck, a Peking duck, and it's served like this. Yes, you order with the chef. Uh -huh. They will set all their own preparation to cook for you. Uh -huh. And after that, just pick up to your table and enjoy it. It's brought to my table. Yeah. This looks like something I would get at a at a four or five star restaurant. Look, this there's no way this looks like something I get from a buffet. Yeah. Like zero, never seen it before. You haven't seen the most exciting part yet. This there's a part in this buffet that I'm so excited about. Let's keep going. Let's go inside. You have hot pot. At a buffet. Yeah, the hot pot here is over there. I mean, I've been to all you can eat hot pot buffets and I've been to all you can eat buffets. I never seen them together. And this is just incredible quality of ingredients. You know, this is a marriage made in buffet hot pot heaven. This is a grill station. We use this charcoal grill. Uh -huh. This real all the seafood here. And the lobster we have more than nine recipes to cook and we serve the lobster at the table. I order it from the table. You guys yeah. cook it the way I want and yeah. bring the lobster to my table. Yeah. This is just insane. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my yeet on. So I'm gonna get started. I, I formulated a plan. I'm thinking the first thing I need to do is order some lobsters. And um, hi, so what kind of lobsters do you have again? Grilled with cheese. Uh, grilled with cheese? Yeah. That's a Chinese style. I want, I want grilled with cheese. Yeah. And then with chili. So that's like Singapore chili crab almost. So how long would that be? Uh, it's like about five minutes. Five minutes? I got five minutes to go get my other stuff. I can do this. Thank you so much. Let's go. Mussels. This spring roll looks like it has Chinese sausage inside, lap chan inside. And I definitely need one with shrimp inside. And steam roll for sure. Okay, I think that's all I can fit in this plate. Let's put this back and get another plate. Oh, my lobster's here. Wow, what great timing, huh? Got my lobster, got my plate. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's barbecue real well. Let's just dig in, because lobster waits for no man. When you see hot lobster in front of you, you gotta pay some attention immediately. That tastes almost exactly like the chili crab I had in Singapore, except for, well, it's a lobster. It's sweet, a little eggy, not very spicy at all. Mm. Oh man, my lobster is so fresh. It tastes like the lobster just swim to my plate. And I just wanna make sure I get that meat all over that delicious chili eggy sauce. This is insane, guys. And it makes sense, right? It tastes good on crab, why not on lobster? And I don't even know how to even begin with it. I feel like I'm on a first date right now. I'm just I'm so overwhelmed. I'm, I'm intimidated by this buffet, by how many things I wanna try on this buffet. Let's just crack open a claw. It's burning hot right now, by the way. Whoa. 
You know what? I was kind of wondering like what kind of sauce I should dip this in. And yeah, it's, it would taste good with some sauce, maybe like a little spicy mayo or something. But as is, this is already delicious. And on its own, it just has this sweet, briny flavor. Excuse me. What, what do you dip this in usually? Oh, thank you, thank you. It's so nice here. I never seen a buffet where the, the crab is literally alive right before they cook it. It's alive on a buffet. This is as fresh as you can ever get. Oh, thank you so much. So she brought this over. Some chili, some lime, and some salt and pepper. Dip it in the sauce. Oh. Wow. That's perfect for crab. It's citrusy, peppery, spicy, and it doesn't take away from the sweetness of the crab meat itself. Oh, well thank you, sir. My cheese lobsters are here. I've talked about cheese lobsters before because I always used to have them at Chinese banquets and I never see them cooked really anywhere else before, especially not at a buffet. Because usually you go to a buffet, even if there is lobster, it's usually steamed or boiled or maybe sometimes grilled. And I'll tell you guys, this is my favorite way to eat lobster. And I can't believe they do that here on an all-you-can-eat buffet. I can have as much of this as I want. I'm starting on with four. Sorry, crab. Let's just be for a second. Look at this, guys. Straight out of the oven. I gotta pick this up. I know it's hot, but... <laughs> oh, you can taste the smoke, definitely taste the cheese, mixed with that beautifully sweet lobster meat. You ever seen lobster do that before? Mm. Cheese goes so good with lobster. That's why lobster mac and cheese works so well. Oh, let's get another one going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You don't need anything else. There's just sweet lobster meat wrapped all in this gooey cheese. Once you guys try this way of preparing lobster, trust me, you're gonna absolutely love it. So good. This is literally the third lobster I'm finishing right now. I'm just gonna dip it a little bit in the sauce for my crab because it is getting a little too cheesy for me. <laughs> With how much I love romantic comedies, I didn't think that was possible, but. That citrus and chili on the lobster means that I can probably eat like double the amount of lobster than usual. Okay, I'm gonna hit pause on the seafood just because this is all sitting here. I wanna, I wanna try this out. First, this little um, cocktail shrimp with a little lime and it looks like uh, sriracha mayo and some dill. Oh, shut the front door. Hmm, spicy mayo. I feel like it has a little ketchup in here. Yeah, and this little sandy. Look at this. It's a cute little cheese sandwich, shaped like a little football. Mmm, mmm. I think there's some, some sweet onions or jam in here. It's really delicious. You know how I can make it better. I'm gonna add a little lobster meat in here. Everybody loves lobster sandwich. Mm. That was cheese on cheese on lobster. You know that's gonna be good. I've been eyeing this baby. Pork, what looks like maybe uh, some lettuce on a little toast. Mm. Everything I had so far, it's been superb. Superb. I can't wait for this. I think there's pork in here, shrimp, beef, noodles. <laughs> Everything is so fresh. All the ingredients, so ridiculously fresh and well prepared. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Then we're gonna go for round two. At this moment, this is the most valuable real estate to me. But this, this speaking duck dish, that needs to get in here right now. This is, oh, I'm serious about the sauce. Good sauce can never be wasted, never. I don't even care if the bread's gonna fill up my stomach. I don't. It's that good. I really hope that if you guys come to this buffet, that they have this particular dish. This might be one of the best things I've had on any buffet at any time, anywhere. I would pay money for this at a restaurant. Like, no questions asked. I don't know what this is, but I mean, it's here. I'm just gonna dip it a little bit. Again, excuse me, I'll be right back. Yeah, I, I had to right away get another plate of this. I'm just gonna eat it with some of the fruits this time. I just can't get over how ridiculous this dish is. Unbelievably good. I like also that there's bits of peppercorn in here to get some of that nice numbing flavor. It's just the greatest thing. All right, plate number four. We're going after the main dishes. And here I can order a Vietnamese noodle soup. Okay, so here, this is kind of like a, like a Mongolian style barbecue, um, separate with much better ingredients. Mushrooms, onions, uh, some pink. Thank you. This is a noodle soup. Gonna add some scallions, a little bit of jiu thai, chili, peppercorn, just a tiny bit, lime. And you said a little bit of shirata, like tiny bit. And then my stir fry noodle is gonna be done in about five minutes. Thank you. Here we go. 
Oh, I can't wait for this. Two customized noodles, one soup, one stir fry. The soup's got a couple pieces of pork in here. Oh, the beautiful wide rice noodles I had from before. Oh, this tastes a lot like the crab noodle soup I had on the noodle tour. I love how citrusy the soup is. It is so good. Oh, it tastes borderline like a tom yum soup. And no wonder they call this uh, Vietnamese udon. These noodles are the same size as udon noodles, but of course, this is made with rice. Oh. That pork is excellent. I know I'm eating a lot of dishes that fill up a lot of room in my stomach, but I got no regrets. Next up, this is my own creation. I, I didn't put a lot of things in here. Um, there's some mushrooms, some onions, and then just beef, and it looks, what looks like egg noodles. <laughs> These noodles are insane. My expectations were really low because I'm thinking, because it just looks like boring old egg noodles. Wow. Double wow. First of all, noodles cooked perfectly. Chewy, perfect degree of doneness. And the sauce, it tastes like some sort of sati sauce where, actually, you know what? It tastes sort of like that Vietnamese chili sauce I had from before. But whatever this is, it is highly addictive. Highly addictive. I never advocate going for noodles at a buffet. I certainly don't advocate going for a second helping of noodles at a buffet, but I'm gonna down this, then I'm going for a second ball. Wow, those noodles. <sighs> now, I need to go get this. Um, I think what you do is you put it onto your tray. It's a massive prawns. Could I get a shabu? Yes. Yeah, that'd be great. And then do I get this grilled somewhere? Me. Oh, yeah, thank Sorry. you. Oh, come back and get both? Yes, thank you. You got it. See you soon. And while we wait, let's see if there's something I missed. Pork neck with mustard was not here before. Oh. Come take a look at this. Look at that. Doesn't that just look pretty? Pork neck with mustard. And this also wasn't here. Ooh, stir fry seafood. A little bit of fried rice. This should tie me over until my hot pot's ready. Pork. But it tastes like those pigs that fight against those really angry birds because this is tough. Hey, we're just putting some time here. So with the hot pot, what you do is you put whatever you want on your plate. So I got some beef, some random veggies. I think one of those is mine. Yeah, thank you. So then you can uh, get some more sauce here. So what they basically did was they just took the ingredients and they boiled it and you just dip it in the sauce. First of all, look at these massive prawns. Suck on a hit a little bit. Oh yeah, I love it when they use wooden charcoal because the smoky flavor is so enhanced. And I have some fish sauce and chili. Oh, sounds like shrimp candy. Mm. Actually, even this without sauce, that's pretty good. I got an octopus, I, I, I'm not sure why. Mm. That's really tender. Mm. That's really good. Whoa, that might be better than the shrimp. And the shabu shabu, not really what I expected. I thought it'd give you like a, like a pot. But that's, that's kind of expecting a little too much here. Okay, this is not a shabu shabu place. Well, the meat, meat is cut a little thick and they give you some sauce to go with it. Mm. It's not half bad. Because the meat is sliced kind of thick, it is a little tougher than I like, but the quality of the meat is good. The sauce is nice. I mean, for a buffet, I'll tell you what, I've had words at actual hot pot restaurants. All right, hang on guys, I gotta see what time it is. Yep, it's dessert time. I don't know what Fuji cake is, all I know is I want some. This looks good. A little cappuccino drink looking thing. Oh yeah, I need this. This might be the last one they had. Dessert round, always bittersweet. No, well, hopefully more sweet than bitter. This is something I had before. Green bean soup is something that Chinese love. And it's really awesome to drink this when it's hot outside. This is a dessert drink we put sugar in here, but we never add seafood. And I had this dessert at another restaurant here in Vietnam. It tastes pretty good. Mm. This one does as well. It's slightly funky because the seaweed flavor is more pronounced here, but still, mm. I love it. Love mum bean soup. Sorry, it's mum bean, not green bean. We call it lu dou or green bean in Chinese, but it's really mum bean. Mm. Oh, that's good. This is fantastic. This is ridiculously good. It tastes a little bit like Chinese yogurt, but much sweeter and much creamier. Mm. This is so good. All right, let's get to this. Cheers to a great buffet, guys. 
Every single one of these beautifully designed plates that came out of the buffet has been spectacular, and this is no exception. The top layer, I think it's raspberry jam. The cake here in the middle is firm, but it breaks down really easily when it goes into your mouth. And right smack in the middle, it's a layer of fruity, I think maybe strawberry mousse. <sighs> the whole thing. Mm. It's tart, it's sweet, it's buttery. It's a great way to wrap up this meal. Fantastic way to wrap up this meal. Well, if you can't tell, I kind of like this buffet. And out of all the buffets I've ever been to, this one probably had the freshest seafood. And this is the only place I've ever seen that, that specially designs place of food for you. And those dishes not only look amazing, they taste even better. And I'm pretty sure when I say this, that this is the best seafood buffet I've been to so far in my life. And guys, there's another reason this place is awesome. Just walking around, if you ask me how much this buffet costs, I would usually say 80, 90, and maybe even $100. But this place, 53 US dollars. So yes, I highly, 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 highly recommend this place. So if you're ever in Saigon, or you're ever in Vietnam, or you know what? If you're in the Southeast Asia region, you need to come and eat at this place. Also, I was just thinking this morning, check this out. I think I've determined that Saigon is, is one of the best cities in the world to, to go on a vacation. Here's why. Plane ticket aside, if you can find a time when the plane ticket is not that much, hotels, Airbnbs, like nice ones in this city goes for like 20, 30, $40. So you get a cheap flight, you come here, you book a nice hotel, you book a nice Airbnb, that's only gonna run you 30, 40, a night then you only really need to budget like five to ten dollars a day for food I mean food is that cheap in the city and is ridiculously good and then like one night you splurge a little bit and you come here best vacation ever and guys as always the information for this place is listed in my description box thank you all so much for watching thank you so much for joining me on this awesome seafood buffet adventure and until we eat again I'll see you later